Hello and welcome everybody, my name is the IT Guy and in this video we'll have a look at how to mount dynamic disks in Linux. Now dynamic disks are actually something that is most likely going to be used in a Windows environment. For example, in Windows there are, you need dynamic disks to use the RAID function, the software RAID function built into Windows. In order for that to function, you'll need to uh, convert that disk into a dynamic disk and you know once it's a dynamic disk Linux can have quite some issues with reading them so right now I am in the disks menu over here and actually uh, I am actually uh, in the correct hard disk here and that hard disk uh, contains LDM data partition and it is 500 gigabytes of an unknown partition and that is because Linux cannot really read any of the data on here. If I would right click this, if I would actually go into the options, uh, there are no real options to mount it or check the file system or edit anything. Uh, you can edit a partition, that's all, but you can format the partition, but we don't want to do that because that will lose our data. We want to be able to access our data, of course, in Linux. So how do we go about this? Uh, we can close this up because there's no way of actually accessing the data on here. So we can close our disk manager right here and let's go straight into the terminal. Opening the terminal, you can do that by using Control alt uh, or just typing in terminal over here. Uh, I am working on Ubuntu over here. I'm actually working on PopOS, but it's based on Ubuntu, so it's basic, pretty much uh, basically the same. Uh, the first command you'll want to uh, enter is you want to enter sudo apt install ldm tool. An LDM tool is a tool that will allow us to interact with LDM partitions. So there we go. It's installed. Uh, if it asks you to, or if it prompts you to uh, to press Y, you just press Y and enter, and then we will install automatically. But now we have our tool called LDM tool, which is the next thing we're going, we're going to use. So let's now type in LDM tool. Actually, let's type in sudo LDM tool. LDM tool create all and this will create our volumes that have the LDM partition so let's now go into our uh, file manager and look at that our data partition is ready to uh, yeah to be accessed so let's go ahead and close that up now the problem is actually when you reboot the system the partition will be gone again so actually you'll need to enter this LDM tool command every single time you start up your PC that's not very handy. We want to have actually a sort of automatic tool, an automatic way to um, to do this every time we start up the computer. So we have to tell Linux to do this. And how do we go about this? Well, there is something called the rc.local file. So you actually want to do sudo nano slash etsy slash rc.local. And that's, this, is a, um, this is a file that is in Linux uh, being used globally actually to run commands at startup. So we just type in sudo nano etsy slash rc.local and uh, this is where the rc.local file is located in Ubuntu. In other distributions, it is not located always in the same place. So if you are looking for your rc.local file in another Linux distribution, you'll need to figure out where that is. So sudo nano etsy slash rc.local and you'll see that it's a new file because that file in Linux 18 and in Ubuntu 18.04 it doesn't really exist yet, and anything anything above it doesn't exist. Anything previous like 16.04, uh, for example, it does exist, but it's basically an empty file. So what do we what do we want to do in this uh, file? Actually, we want to start off with telling Linux that this is actually a script, and we'll do that by typing in the shebang or the hashtag the hashtag uh, exclamation mark. It'll do forward slash bin forward slash bash so it knows that it has to use the bash terminal. The next thing you want to do is we actually want to just run the command that we just ran, which is ldm tool create all. And then we want to do exit zero so the the, the, the script is also exited once the, once the um, command has been run. So we do control O, file name to write is rc.local, that's correct row three lines let's control x out of it and now let's do one more thing we want to do sudo chmod plus x because we want to make sure that this file is flagged as an executable 
there we go that's all we need to do now we exit the terminal let's now restart the system and let's see if everything worked out the way it should have so here we are again at the desktop and the system booted and i didn't do anything and look at that our data partition is actually yeah it's ready to go we can read everything everything is still in here and uh we can perfectly access all the files and read and write to them we don't need to do anything because actually this is automatically done in ubuntu once it detects a drive so actually if you would have to mount this yourself afterwards you still have to enter the mount commands so you do the same thing you actually would go into the rc.local file you actually would go into the rc.local file here and if your uh, if your system doesn't mount them automatically we can actually go into disks again if it doesn't mount them automatically you'll just have to mount it using the mount command you would do something like mount uh, slash dev slash sdc3 whoops sdc3 and then you would just specify your mount point which is blah 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 whatever your mount point is I don't, want to, I don't want to save this okay so yeah this was just me showing you how to access dynamic disks on uh, Linux actually this is uh, this is just for Ubuntu but generally when you're using the LDM tool and the rc.local file it's generally the same the only difference is that your package manager might have a different command if you're using something like pacman you'll probably enter something like sudo pacman and then you install it using the the, the correct commands and you just look up the LDM tool uh, repository uh, name and then you would do the same thing and just find out where the rc.local file is located because it's not the same in every Linux distribution but basically it generally works all in the same way just using the LDM LDM tool command and then just uh, automatically using it uh, automatically starting it with the rc.local file so this was just me showing you how to do that if you like the video hit the like button if you want to see more of my videos please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video goodbye